Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are starting on the topic of electrochemistry. We are going to be seeing how to calculate oxidation number of uh, unknown compounds and also this is going to help us later on as we look at the redox uh, equations. So electrochemistry is a chemistry of electrochemical reactions which deals with the relationship between electrical energy and chemical reactions. So a chemical reaction occurs to cause an electrical energy or vice versa. So electrochemical reactions involve transfer of electrons and are essentially redox reactions. So we are going to look at redox reactions in the next lesson and see how we were able to build the knowledge of redox reactions from form 1 to form 4. But first, before we go that, we need to be able to identify oxidation numbers of reactions. Oxidation number is the apparent charge that atoms have in molecules of I or ions. So for monoatomic ions, the oxidation number is the magnitude and sign of the charge. So if we take a, an atom that has a charge, let's say for example, magnesium with a charge of two plus, so the oxidation number is going to be plus two. If we take, uh, sometimes we have also molecules and ions. For example, if we take nitrate ions, so the oxidation number is negative one. We are going to see that in a few. But this is now the apparent charge. The only difference is you change where the position of the sign is. That is where plus or minus is in the number. It comes before the number. So when we are assigning oxidation numbers to atoms, molecules, or ions, these are the rules that we follow. First of all, oxidation number of an combined element is zero. Uh, this applies mostly when we come to diatomic uh, compounds <clears throat> and uncombined. For example, if you talk like magnesium solid, sodium solid, these are the ones that are, are not combined. These ones are, are, are like have an oxidation number of zero. When you talk about the atomic compounds, are the ones that are made of the same atom, like hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas. These ones also have an oxidation number of zero. So the charge on monoatomic ions is equivalent to the oxidation number of that element. So just like we say, for example, sodium has a positive charge, so the oxidation number will be positive one. If, uh, if we take like aluminium with three plus, the oxidation number is going to be plus three. If we take oxygen with um, two minus, the oxidation number is going to be minus two. Basically, the charge is the one that is equivalent to the oxidation number. Remember, the only difference is where you place the plus or minus. So the plus needs to come first. For the charge, the plus or minus sign comes after. So the oxidation number of hydrogen, you need to remember this is always positive one, except in metal hydrides is negative one and then the oxidation number is always negative two except in peroxides where it's negative one and um in oxygen fluoride where it is positive two so these are rare occasions uh, we will see hydrogen peroxide like we know we have hydrogen peroxide we have sodium peroxide when we are discussing form one in these cases the oxidation number of high oxygen is negative one this compound is very rare especially in high school chemistry but in case you see it the oxidation number of oxygen is going to be positive too but in all other cases the oxidation number of oxygen will always be negative two so in complex ions the overall charge is equal to the sum of the oxidation states of constituent elements for example we talked about tetraamine copper two ion so tetraamine if you can remember this when you are doing uh acid base and salt so this tells you that we have We have the copper, the amine, and the, the charge. The charge here, the overall charge, is actually the sum of the oxidation states of the constituent element. So we have the oxidation state of copper, which is positive 2, the amine, which is 0. And so this causes the overall charge to be 
uh, two plus or the oxidation number of positive two. And then in compounds, the sum of oxidation numbers of all its constituent atom is equals to zero. So if, for example, we look at like water, because water is the one that is on the outer part of it, it means when you add the oxidation number of hydrogen and oxygen, the total is going to be zero. We're going to see examples anyway, so you can um, look at that in the next uh, part. So we are going to do a few examples, calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in nitrate ions. So the first thing that we need to remember is we said for an ion, the total oxidation number will always be given as the overall charge for the whole compound. So it tells you if you take the oxidation number of nitrogen, you add the oxidation number of oxygen and there are three of them, the total number of oxidation number will be negative one. And remember it's negative one, not one minus. You write one minus you don't get it because that presents the charge so when we take the oxidation number of nitrogen which we don't know which is n plus the oxidation number of oxygen which we said is always going to be negative two apart from peroxides and oxygen fluoride you multiply by three the total is going to give us one which is the same as nitrogen plus minus six is equals to minus one so we take this minus six into the other side which gives us that nitrogen is equals to minus one plus six. Remember this minus six, when it comes to the other side, it becomes positive. So that means nitrogen is equals to positive five. So that's, that's the oxidation number of nitrogen in this compound. So let's look at another one, nitrogen uh, four oxide, as you can see, this is a gas. So, and you can see the charge here is zero, there's no charge. So it tells you if you take the oxidation number of nitrogen, you take the oxidation number of oxygen, which are two, the total oxidation number is going to be zero. So we have been asked for the oxidation number of nitrogen. So the oxidation number of oxygen is negative two, and there are two of them, which is zero. So nitrogen is equals to, if you take this other side, negative, positive four. We shall call it nitrogen four oxide. You can see why it is four oxide. So there's also this is a nitrite ion with a charge of negative. That tells you the oxidation number of nitrogen plus the oxidation number of oxygen, which are two, gives you negative one. So nitrogen plus uh, negative two times two is equal to negative one. So nitrogen plus negative four is equal to negative one. You take this. Now negative four the other side it becomes positive four so nitrogen is negative one plus four which gives us the oxidation number of nitrogen is positive three and we have silver nitrate we are still looking for the oxidation number of nitrogen so we have oxidation number of silver plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus the oxidation of number of three oxygen to give us the oxidation number of zero. It's zero because there is no charge out here. So the oxidation number of silver is always positive one. We know because this is a transitional element, and we've mentioned this also when we were learning about the structure of the atom, plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus oxygen, which is always negative two times three is equals to zero, which gives us positive one, plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus negative six, which is zero. You put light terms together, it's going to be nitrogen plus positive one plus negative six. I like to put this distinctively so that you don't make an error. So nitrogen plus positive one plus negative six gives you negative five is equal to zero. So nitrogen is as, as a charge of positive five. So it is, uh, silver nitrate the nitrogen the nitrate in this case the nitrogen is positive five i hope you notice there is a, a similarity between these two because of the nitrate ion the no3 and there's also an no3 here let's do a few more examples So we have the nitric acid, so oxidation number is hydrogen plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus the oxidation of number of oxygen, which are three, is equal to one to zero. There is no charge. 
so hydrogen we said the oxidation number will always be positive one apart from metal hydride plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus oxygen is negative two times three which is equals to zero this gives us positive one plus the oxidation of nitrogen plus negative six which is zero so nitrogen is equals uh, plus ne positive one plus negative six which is zero which gives us nitrogen plus negative five because plus one minus six is negative five zero which gives us nitrogen is positive five then also we have the nitrous acid so this is oxidation number of hydrogen plus oxidation number of nitrogen plus oxidation number, number of two oxygens which gives us also a charge of zero up uh, oxygen number of zero so this is positive one plus the oxidation number of nitrogen plus minus four minus four is because it's minus two times two is equals to zero which is the same as nitrogen plus one minus four is equal to zero which is nitrogen is equals to plus one minus four which gives us minus three you take it in the other side it becomes positive three so you can see that's why we call it nitric three acid this one we call it nitric five acid so we are going to do uh, two more and then we close the session so determine the oxidation numbers of manganese in each of the following and give the systematic names of the compound so we have this so manganese so the oxidation number of manganese plus the oxidation number of sulfur plus the oxidation number of oxygen which are four gives us a total of zero because there is no charge so for manganese is what we are looking for sulfur is equals to negative two remember it is in group six of the periodic table it's number 16 atomic number 16 plus oxygen is negative two times four is equals to zero which gives us manganese plus negative two plus negative eight zero so manganese plus negative two plus negative eight gives us negative ten so let's make a small correction so the uh, oxidation number of sulfur is not uh, negative two so let's calculate the oxidation of, of sulfur sulfur for uh, sulfur in uh, this compound so first of all when you look at this reaction you notice we have the sulfide ions in the system it is important to not make this error it's very common just like you've seen i've made the same error so the sulfate the sulfur in the sulfate ion is not positive uh, negative two so we need to calculate that from the information we already have so the sulfate ions it has a charge of two minus so the oxidation the total oxidation number of the sulfate ions is positive two so if you take the oxidation number of sulfur plus the oxidation number of oxygen you multiply by four the total oxidation number Number is going to be positive two so we we are looking for the oxidation number of sulfur because it also changes so that's why we need to be very careful so oxygen is negative two times four is equals to positive two so sulfur uh, negative eight is equals to positive two which gives us sulfur is negative eight goes to the other side uh, which is positive two uh, this is negative not positive so negative 2 plus 8 which gives us sulfur is oxidation number positive 6 so that is what we are going to use in this case so it's the oxidation number of manganese plus the oxidation number of sulfur plus the oxidation number of oxygen times 4 is equals to 0 the reason why we did that is because of these sulfate ions as you can see uh, we need to be able to get the oxidation num or number of sulfur because it also changes so manganese plus the oxidation num number of sulfur is going to be positive six plus the oxidation number of oxygen which is going to be negative two multiplied by four is zero so manganese is equals to positive six plus negative eight is equals to zero which manganese is plus minus two is equal to zero so the manga the charge of manganese in this case is positive two you can you can go back and do a little bit more practice where it needs you to use sulfur because sulfur is very tricky there are some cases also you have to use uh 
this uh, sulfur for example if we had like manganese sulfide we cannot be able to use sulfur as the oxidation number plus six we have to go ahead and get the oxidation of number of sulfur so when you look at the sulfide ion the oxidation number of sulfur is going to be sulfur plus negative two times three is equals to the oxidation number is minus two so sulfur plus negative six is equals to negative two so sulfur is equals to negative two plus ne plus six because it changes the sign so sulfur is positive four so you see there's a difference between the oxidation number of sulfur in the sulfite ion and the oxidation of sulfur in the sulfate ion this is important so when you're calculating the oxidation of number of manganese in ma ma manganese sulfide it's going to be different because it's going to be manganese plus now the oxidation number of sulfur which is positive four plus the oxidation number of oxygen negative two times three which is equals to zero which gives us manganese plus positive four plus negative six which is zero which is the same as manganese plus four minus six gives us minus two so the oxidation number of manganese you can see is plus two it doesn't change but you can see the oxidation number of sulfur changes so it is important to note that some cases can come in that situation that is needs used to also have the oxidation number of other substances another compound is the nitrate and the nitrite ion this also uh, is used a lot in compounds so that brings us to the end so in the next session you're going to be looking at the oxidation uh, redox reaction that is uh, a reduction and oxidation reaction so see you then